Today, we look at a proven technique that makes you learn any subject as fast as you want. Das Internet ist für uns alle Neuland. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Today, this <laughs> moment, in our previous video, we looked at the peer to peer environment at 42 Berlin. Today, we will check out one of its core features evaluations. Evaluations are at the core of our peer to peer environment. But before I describe to you how they work and why I think it's one of the best ways to learn anything new, I need you to understand our own 42 currency evaluation points. Every student at 42 Berlin starts with five evaluation points. Those points are necessary if you want to evaluate a finished project. Let's say Lena started her studies at 42 Berlin and wrote all the necessary functions for her first project. Now she needs to set the project as finished and sign up for three evaluations. Each evaluation will happen face to face with another student and you have guessed it right, will cost her one evaluation point. Doing this, she will soon run out of points and need to start evaluating other students to gain new ones. At 42 Berlin, you are part of a whole. In this context, just like any other students, you will contribute to everyone's progress. This definitely includes the evaluation of your peers. All right, that is sorted. But how are our students supposed to evaluate each other? It's quite hard to describe in a short video and I recommend everyone who's interested to stop by at 42 Berlin and talk to them. But to summarize it in a few sentences, you can categorize the evaluations into two parts. During the first step, the evaluator checks if everything works as the subject demands it. For every project, the evaluator receives an evaluation sheet that guides them through the evaluation and provides them with a list of things to check. This process is pretty similar to code reviews you might know from software companies. During the second step, the evaluator will discuss the code with the other student and the actual knowledge transfer is happening. It doesn't matter if the evaluator has more or less knowledge of the discussed topic. It's an exchange of two people interested in the subject and motivated to learn from each other. I would argue that this is actually one of the most important aspects of 42 Berlin and our students are required to be able to communicate the software they wrote. You will gain a deep fundamental understanding by explaining your work to someone else and answering any questions about your code. This method is also known as the Feynman technique. The Feynman technique is a method of learning that unleashes your potential and forces you to develop a deep understanding of the things you want to learn. There are four key steps to the Feynman technique. Number one, choose a topic you want to learn about. Number two, gather information and build understanding. Number three, reflect, refine and simplify. And number four, explain it to a 12 year old. <laughs> Let's say you want to become a software developer and start studying at 42 Berlin. During your PC, you will face different concepts like data structures, pointers or memory allocation. At one time, you need to learn more about arrays. You read some articles, watch videos on YouTube, you play around with software and maybe you build up a bit of knowledge. But can you really explain it on a deep fundamental level to someone who would be new to this topic? Jargon hides our lack of understanding. When forced to write out an explanation from start to finish in simple language, you discover where you struggle where it doesn't make quite sense, where you get frustrated, where you don't really understand it as well as you thought. Only by identifying gaps in your knowledge, you can fill them. Now you have a set of handcrafted notes. Go through them from beginning to end and see if you have any gaps in your understanding. Read it out loud. If it's confusing at one point, go back to step two and redefine and simplify your wording. Keep iterating until you can tell the story to anyone who is willing to listen. If you really want to be sure of your understanding, run it past someone. The feedback and questions you will receive are invaluable for your further understanding.